Good morning, guys. Johnny with Blades of Grass Lawn Care. Let me see which key. This one. Beautiful morning. Well, hey, it's beautiful enough. It is scheduled to rain today. So, I want to get out here and see what I can get done. And um, this is where I store my trailer. And as you can tell, there are several ways to get into this location. Uh, pretty secured. And for those who have vehicles in this area, you have a an additional key, well, a key that you can get, but you have to leave a deposit for the key. And if you don't leave a deposit, then it's locked and it's open um, upon request. So yeah, like I said before, I just want to show you guys what I do in the mornings. Um, you know, before leaving. Now, I have this uh, area where I keep my truck because me personally, I don't like to, um, I don't want to be keeping, and again, uh, my apologies for the pauses. <laughs> I don't want to be keeping my truck at my home because it's just, uh, I love the work home separation. I don't like to have those things put together. And I'm only paying, I want to say 89 bucks per month for this slot right here. And as you can tell, I have different guys. Well, not I, I, but there's different businesses up in here. And it's pretty secure. It's pretty secure. Um, you have, and I don't keep these things in there, okay? Just so you know. <laughs> yeah, they keep their stuff. Here's another lawn care guy. So for you guys that complain about competition, <laughs> I don't I don't worry about competition guys. I don't worry about competition. So I always jack up my trailer just a little bit to take the weight off my truck. Is that something that you guys do or is it only me? Yeah. I try to do it just to kind of take the weight away. So I love this location guys because I have my, as you can tell, I have my AC, which is right there, my water. And this location have cameras. They have, well, several cameras, um, additional security. And all I have to pay for is 89 bucks a month now one thing that i will tell you guys let me turn this down let me turn this off just so it don't come on one thing that i will tell you guys ensure that your insurance company if you're doing this right if you have an additional location where you're keeping your equipment where you're keeping your stuff make sure that your insurance company knows Oh, did I move my cones? See, this is what I get for running my mouth. Bam, you see that? I would have ran right over my cones, which I've done many a times. Yeah, ensure that your insurance company knows where your vehicle, uh, where you park your vehicle because the last thing you want to do is mess around and have an issue. And I'm not saying that this place is 100% secure, guys. Oh, let me turn on my full way. That's just something that I do just to ensure that my lights are working, you know, before I leave. 
I check my four ways see just to ensure that they are working make sure all my lights are good to go my four ways are working and I have to get I have to replace that blinker right there it burned out yeah so make sure your insurance company knows where your stuff is yeah you know minimize the pain of you trying to justify why your stuff was in part because usually when you have your insurance company your insurance they um they're supposed to ask you where you park your your vehicle and stuff like that and then this is where i park my car okay just make sure everything is good to go lock it up Put my cones and i always put my cones there i don't know why <laughs> just ensure i don't know nobody back up into my car i don't know i don't know guys i don't know i just do it so what i usually do is just you know do a visual inspection every day make sure your tires are good to go make sure nobody broke into my truck and trailer i'm ready to rock and roll and my business phone and my personal phone no 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 off off there you go <laughs> what did i just say there you go this didn't want to kind of work on his own this morning okay everything is good to go i have enough gas everything is full got my water got my recording stuff got everything i need and my reading glasses and one second here there you go all right guys um again just just a quick video to show you uh where i keep my truck and trailer and the reason i do this is because again i don't want to have my my business at home me personally i'm to the point in my business where i don't have to do that and if some of you guys are doing it that's fine good to go but i'm um, just giving you an, a, an another uh, alternative to uh you know running your business from a, a a storage unit now i will say uh like i said before 89 bucks a month um and you can write it off on your your your, your taxes okay because you are storing your stuff here in that specific area um the manager here lives on premises they have cameras they have electricity they have light and what i love about it is nothing is uh forever you know it's not a place that i purchase yes if i had you know the opportunity to do that no nah, i don't want to because again my business is not forever business guys um like you guys know and and real quick and i'll get into another video later on I sold all of that for a lot of stupid money. So I'm running solo and life is great, life is good. So Johnny, what happened if something happens to you? Believe me, I have contingency plans to uh, make sure that my properties are being taken care of. But other than that guys, again, my perspective, my way of running things is not the, the is, is just to give you an additional way of running things, okay? Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos guys.
have a blessed one just want to give you uh insight to my mornings see you on the next one pop smoke peace motivation check oh